So I've given you guys a few like small updates on the 240 in the last couple videos, but now I'm gonna give you like a, a real update. It's not gonna be too long, but I'm just gonna run through some things. Uh, it's not in focus, hold on. Um, don't worry, you didn't miss anything. And this is not really wanting to focus, one sec. All right, we're focused, and don't worry, you didn't miss anything. The car's gonna get torn apart to get painted uh, today or tomorrow. Probably not anymore today. Um, I just didn't have a place to like put the kit and stuff, but now I don't know. It just makes me feel better actually being able to look at the car. So I guess I'll run through my uh, my arrow real quick. We got BN Sports Type Four. Metal OEM front fenders because metal fenders are the way to go. Uh, I definitely rub on my BMW and my fenders are not bacon. And yeah, I just don't really feel like chipping away my fenders and stuff with fiberglass because like at US Air, you got the low spots and stuff and that'll compress it and I just don't wanna munch my fender. Um, we got charge speed rear overs, which are really like a 30, mail or something like that uh, it just gives it a really nice like staggered look although the camera's not really going to show it much then we come back here we got the d-max trunk spoiler we got chrome d-max taillights was actually which i actually do really like got the vskfs the lighting's bad right here i apologize for that but uh it just it, i don't know in person it just looks good having these over fenders with the stock front fenders gives the back a little bit wider of a stance. And then uh, with the camber in the front, the track width is about the same. Cause I really hate how like lobster cars, I hate that. Like uh, if you had like type three rear fenders and type three fronts, uh, origin fenders, and then the camera in the front, it just, it looks bad. So this keeps it nice and more even. Um, the back fitment is pretty good. You're not really going to be able to tell. The front sticks out a little bit, but the reason for that is my wheels are not specked out right. They have, like, the lips and the faces are right. Like, the offset is correct. Like, obviously, like, they fit good. But the problem is the barrels. So my fronts are 10s, and the backs are 11s, and I don't... I already ordered barrels like a week ago. Uh, they got to get made from VR, so I'm going to get those and I'll rebuild them. I don't know what the back's supposed to be, but I'm going to run a 235 and then the front I'm going to run a 215. And I can add more camber, but the problem is the, the barrel is hitting the clover, so I can't get it in that last little bit. Um, we can take this off. I do have tires for these already, but... Like I said, I got to put a new barrel on them because they're too wide. I don't know how much you can really be able to see here. One second, I'll, uh, I'll get a light for you. Yeah, you really can't see. Um, no point in even. Or maybe it is a little better. I don't know. Um, we got StopTech rotors, StopTech pads, Z32 front and rear calipers. We got the BC DS coilovers, um, full PBM. PBM even though you can't see it it's all black um, after I paint the car I'll make a video throwing this stuff on but like the, they're not even like really bolted in I just had the bolt sign through stuff the only thing I'm missing is my Street Faction power brace ordered that two months ago along with Street Faction bash bars and that's gonna be the biggest reason why I'm not gonna be able to put a car on the ground right away after I paint it and I can actually like bolt this stuff up that's still like a month out, unfortunately. That sucks. Nothing I can really do about that. Uh, just their stuff just has a really long lead time. So, just like in the front, we got all PBM in the back. This is probably the ride height that I'll be at. I just obviously when the car's on the ground, it's gonna it's gonna settle. But this is about what I'm gonna run it at. Um, can't see. Very nice. I guess let's uh, go to the interior.
I'll try adjusting the camera a little bit. Open the door, maybe that helps. So we got the Brides Aid of 4s, Street Faction, seat brackets, and this really sucks. Why it's so dark? Here, this helps a little more, I guess. I don't know. Can you see better? So we got the Brides Aid of 4s, we got Street Faction seat rails, D Max floor mats. I, uh, I used fabric paint to get rid of the Zenki fabric along with the back seat, which actually doesn't look too bad. You're not really going to be able to see it. Got the Street Faction uh, bezel piece with the AEM oil pressure and oil temp. Go over to the other side. The interior is pretty much done, minus the Cusco bolting cage, harness bar, and harnesses. Didn't realize this was going to be a car check, but whatever. This is just an update. Show you guys what I've, what I've done. So we got uh, Nardi. Why can I not do this one-handed? Okay, that was kind of hard. So, got the Nardi. Got a P2M quick release with a inch spacer. Got this pod boy. Um, AEM True Boost, an AFR gauge. I don't, I don't know, it's really hard to like find like a nice way to mount four gauges because you really want all of those gauges. You want the AFR boost, oil temp, oil pressure, but you can't run a, like a pillar pod set up with a bolt-in cage. And this isn't, this is going to be like a really nice like street car. So I, I'm not deleting the radio, I'm not deleting this stuff, even though I don't have AC anymore, I'm still going to keep the, the heat. Don't want to put a gauge pod there. Bolt-in cage will block uh, me being able to put a gauge right there. And I'm definitely not going to be drilling into my crackless dash to mount some pods. But, yeah, I'm really happy with the interior so far. Love these seats. Doors looking good. Um, so we got that. I guess the last thing would be, I guess like under the hood, we got OEM kooky headlights, JDM grill. Oh, the hood. The hood is a wrap, unfortunately. The hood is a wrap of an origin uh, type one. I guess they don't make them anymore. My only complaint is just it doesn't really fit good on the sides. We'll see how it looks. Otherwise, um, I'm going to get a Saibon style or a, a Garage S style Saibon hood. This is actually carbon fiber. Um, I didn't want a carbon fiber, but I really wanted this hood. And that was the only way I could find it was by Carbon Creations. And yeah, I will never buy Carbon Creations again. Saibon's way better. Jordan has a Saibon hood on his Genesis and that thing fits up really nice. We got the the air latch hood pin boys even though I have some not in right now because they don't need to be. Pop this. This bay took me forever to shave. Just admire it. If you have an S14 then you know. And it might look like I just kind of shaved it. No. I hammered the inside. You'll be able to see it. Can you see it? Like I hammered because I didn't want to do tubs. And if you want to run 18s, you want to be low, you got to do tubs or hammer the heck out of your uh, wheelhouses. And that's what I did. I gained about an inch of clearance all the way around. And then I just body worked it smooth. And I could probably. Uh, throw some pictures in, some videos right now. I did gain at least an inch right here. And then I took the mallet on top of that and I hit everywhere else. I used the mallet instead of the hammer like I was doing because I didn't want a bunch of little dents right here. And then you come here, you can see you got about a finger right there. 
compared to this side, if you can even see it, it's like all flat. Um, this hurts, this hurts me, but I can always fix it. This side's nice, but what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna lay fiberglass mat back here and I'm running out of time. I'm just gonna fill this with fiberglass and fiberglass bondo. This side doesn't matter because there's gonna be a coolant reservoir. But yeah, this thing's looking really good. Um, I'm waiting on a cooling panel, a custom G2 carbon cooling panel to cover this. I'm having to make me a special fiberglass one because I'm gonna be paint matching it because I just, I think carbon fiber is very ugly and tacky. But I'm super happy with the bay, it took forever. And yeah, I'm just really happy. Come back here. Um, I don't know, I can't show you because the, the overfender's on, but I did do the right thing and I did, uh, when I cut it, I did seal it back up with silicone, welded it, lit the car on fire really good because there's a piece of foam, like back there, car got pretty good on fire, scary stuff, but uh, it's good, I was able to put it out, and I guess that's something that like everyone does. Also, um, look at that. Custom uh, gas door thing. Otherwise, it's like really sunk in. Um, and the reason why it's still like a little bit sunk in is because uh, this is more flat than this. This is like the overfender is more round, and it just it looked weird. So this way, it it just looks better. <laughs> I don't really know how to explain that. Um, yeah, kit's all done. So update on the engine do we, do we open it it doesn't really matter so this is just like the block the head um, there was something I didn't like about it and it was like the where the where the edge of the cam sat on like the front of the head like the clearance was bad and it was tight and I like that and uh, also it didn't have valves it had Tomei cams uh, uh, retainers springs but not the oversized titanium valves and I already had the engine back together so I just said I'm just gonna get I said screw it I'm gonna get a new head I'm gonna get that all done and uh, drop the head off at the machine shop January 2019 it was there for a year got it back they they ruined the head so cuz I, I wasn't too worried about the the 240 because I took a break from it, didn't spend any money on it last year, just was focused on the Civic. That didn't really work out. Didn't really get the views or the growth that I wanted with that car. It's gone now, so now we're back to the, the S14. But uh, I picked that head up, it was ruined. And then earlier this year, like January, I, uh, I dropped it off at a different machine shop so they could save it. I also got another head just in case. They said they could save it, and then uh, it's still at the machine shop. So I haven't had a head for like a year and a half. I'm not too worried because I don't need it right now. I also don't have the money right now because the coronavirus stuff. I'll be really transparent with you guys. Uh, I lost my job because of the coronavirus stuff. My job should have stayed open. I was essential, and they closed anyway. And then they were like, yeah, we, uh, we, we can't afford to have you anymore. It is what it is. Unemployment hasn't paid me since May 11th. I have no money right now. Uh, with the money I had left, I was able to buy this really expensive air compressor, the paint, everything to get my car painted. I uh, parted out the Civic. Still got some stuff left. Here's the, if you want to know what happened to the Civic, melted a rod. So, turbo kit for the Civic is up for sale. I might show you that in a minute. Um, when unemployment pays me, I will have definitely have enough to finish this car completely. It could be a month or two. I haven't been paid in two months. I don't know. So that's what's kind of annoying, what's stopping me from like going farther. But yeah, I guess that's kind of like the update on this. Just can't, I, sh I should have the money to finish this, but I just don't 
because everything is stupid. So that's my update. And now I guess uh, I'm gonna start sanding it back so I can seal it, spray some sealer primer on it. And then uh, outside, you're not gonna be able to see, but I made a DIY paint booth. Probably not gonna make a video on that because it's like already done. Uh, but the next video will be me painting it. And yeah, we're gonna paint it. Um, got the air compressor, got everything. Like I said, just gotta, got, kinda gotta sand the stuff back, uh, block it smooth, and just get it ready to seal. Mask everything off. Get this thing painted, it's gonna look really good. If you're wondering what color it's gonna be, it's gonna be the same uh, same color as it was before. So, really happy with that. Not really too sure what else I wanna say, but once it's painted, we can throw the suspension bits back on it, we can throw the exhaust on it. Um, there's a lot of stuff we can do. So, I know I haven't posted about this car in like a year and a half and stuff, but that's, that's an update. Um, also, I did a lot more stuff with the KA than the last time you saw it. Um, and the reason why uh, I've done this stuff off camera is just, it's boring stuff. It doesn't really matter. It's just me like painting stuff, doing like just little tedious stuff that no one's gonna watch when I can just take this all apart and then throw it back together in a video. If that makes sense, just streamlines everything so much more and less videos, less clutter, uh, easier to follow for people who are new to the channel. This thing looks good. I'm gonna be honest, I'm, uh, there's there's not really many 240 YouTubers left, like small, like street style, grassroot drifters, or like 240 YouTubers, like more skids or garage sideways or stuff like that. So I kinda wanna fill that void on YouTube. Like I've been really bored. There hasn't been any like good YouTube YouTubers that even make good videos anymore, or even do YouTube anymore. Um, I'm I'm gonna start making videos more again. It's just I haven't been able to. I haven't had anything to make videos on because I've just been doing all this little tedious stuff off camera. So this video is probably gonna be like 15, 18 minutes. So I'm just gonna stop here, and uh, I guess. I'm really excited to drive this thing, excited to make content with them, excited to drift, and I hope you guys will enjoy that content too, and I guess uh, if you're new, drop a like, subscribe, whatever, I really appreciate it. If you made it this far in the video, comment Bethany down below, and once again, I thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.